Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. Gemini, this is for all three deacons. So we're spanning from about May 22nd to uh, June the 21st-ish. Okay. All people born between that time. Let's get some numbers. Gemini, please. Okay, I'm seeing eight. I'm seeing some communication. This could be um, that this reading is more focused uh, for the first deacon of Gemini, which if you were born between, uh, say, May 22nd and the end of May, I'm saying that because the Eight of Swords is your card, but it could also be communication. Okay, I'm seeing the Hanged Man, so Pisces could be important. Ooh, okay, so I'm seeing some transformation here. All right, some major transformation. And I'm seeing wisdom. What's on the side? So we've got 8, 12, uh, 13, and 9. Oh, good. Okay, this is great. Uh, you're flanked by a 4 and a 2. So let's see if any of these numbers come out in your reading. All right, Gemini. Oh, there's a message from your special person. <clears throat> <laughs> so they want you to listen to them, basically. <laughs> um, I feel like that's very specific to a certain Gemini. Gemini, what's the issue? What's at stake here for Gemini? What's the issue, please? For Gemini. What's at stake? What's the issue for mutable air? Okay. All right. So I'm seeing Venus and Scorpio. Oh, wow. There's a card of Gemini. Mars and Gemini. That's the second deacon of Gemini. And I'm seeing Scorpio again. Uh, Gemini, a Scorpio could very much be um, involved in your situation. If so, this is definitely your reading. I feel like um, a Scorpio is making a decision about you. They're trying to figure out how to come in correctly. Um, if this is if a Scorpio is not involved, Gemini, I don't think this is your reading. That's how specific I feel this is. All right. What is the challenge for Gemini, please? What's in Gemini's way? What's challenging Gemini, please? What's challenging mutable air? Ooh, wow. Okay, so um, there we go. Feel like there has been a tower moment, a major shakeup. Um, this is another card of Scorpio, so this is definitely about Gemini and Scorpio. There is a Scorpio challenging you. I'm going to get a clarification card now from the Witch's Tarot. Can we clarify the tower as the challenge for Gemini, please? What is it about this Scorpio? Can we clarify the tower as the challenge for mutable air, please? Can we clarify the tower? Yeah, so I feel like it's about, um, I mean, there's Sagittarian energy there, but what I'm feeling like um, is about whether or not uh, you can actually blend together with this person, okay? If you can make it work. That may seem imminently obvious. Somebody needs to become a little bit more spiritual, I think. Have a little more faith. Perhaps that's the person that needs to listen. Um, okay, let's see what's crowning your reading, Gemini. This is very interesting. What's crowning Gemini's reading, please? What's crowning Gemini's reading? Please, we'll get one from each side. What's 
crowning mutable errors reading, please? What's crowning reading, please? What's crowning reading? All right. Oh boy. Another card of Scorpio. So, um, and there's Aries energy there. There's Mars and Scorpio. Definitely somebody feels like they screwed things up. Okay, an Aries woman might have been involved. If not, um, one of you could have some a fire in your chart. But what's crowning the reading um, is the ability. Let's just look at this. I mean, she's blending the two cups. The two cups are there. Is still hope for this connection. Okay, I'm going to get a clarification card for what's crowning the reading. This is definitely about Gemini and a Scorpio. If, if you are not involved with a Scorpio, you can turn the tape off right now. Um, can we clarify what's going on up there, please, as crowning the reading? Clarify Mars and Scorpio. There it is. Yeah. Okay, I told you this can come together. There's Venus and Aries. So there is stability there. There's your number four. Okay, so that's out. Um, there is stability here big time. It is definitely, definitely, this can come together. Okay? Um, that is crowning your reading. So this is looking beautiful. All right? Now, what are the subconscious influences acting on this situation, please? Look at this. Okay, Sagittarian energy again. Okay, I'm going to take back what I said about Scorpio. It could also be you and the Sagittarius, okay? Um, so somebody, one of you uh, uh, does in, uh, know sort of on, um, uh, on, on a subconscious level that this can work, okay? Um, we've got the card of temperance coming out twice already. That is a big sign. Um, that this union can work, but it's going to take some modifying, um, possibly some listening, okay? Um, let's see what's happened in the recent past. What has happened in the recent past between Gemini and their special person? Yeah, somebody turned down an offer. Someone was complacent and moody. Um, we've got Moon and Cancer there. This is one of your cards, Gemini. Um, so, I feel like somebody was demanding um, a victory or demanding a truth, demanding fairness, demanding a truth, or demanding a new beginning. The other person was being very complacent um, and ignoring the obvious. Can we have a card to clarify the recent past, please? Can we have a card to clarify the recent past? Yeah. So, you know, a bit clearly a very stable offer was made and it was refused and it should not have been, all right? Um, you know, it, it was straight up. It was straight up. There was nothing tricky about this. But for some reason, somebody was very complacent. All right, let's see what's happening in the very near future. This may be, <laughs> I'm, I'm retracting now what I said. It could be between Gemini and a Scorpio, Gemini and a Sag, or Gemini and an Earth sign. Uh, obviously, there's Aries energy there, too. All right. What's coming up in the very near future? Okay, what's coming up in the very near future? And then we're going to switch to Vimeo. What's coming up in the very near future for Gemini and their special person, please? What's coming up in the very near future? Let's, so remember, this is not the final outcome. It's the very near future. There we go. Ooh, this looks good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. So, Gemini, there you are. This is one of your major arcana cards. Yeah, this could very well be about a Taurus because we've got two cards of Taurus. I see if it's not about a Taurus and this is about your Scorpio or your Aries or your Sag, there's major stability, possibly marriage. All right. Gemini, wow, this is looking beautiful. You may not even want to go to the extended, um, but there will be an extended. This looks incredible. Okay, congratulations.